You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. With every game, we look to former cat Jeremy Jarman for breaking down the opposing team. The UK Sports Network analyst joins us now with more. Jeremy, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing well, Keith. How are you and Mary Jo? Great. Now, now tell me, there, there is a difference between a season opener and a home opener, right? Oh, absolutely. Uh, there's definitely there's a huge difference. Uh, I'm sure these guys are very excited to be back, uh, be back in Lexington and, and uh, hoping to get on that, get on that win column, right? Uh, fun fact, Jeremy is lucky to be alive after I nearly ran him over uh, in my car <laughs> at the bowl game in Memphis a few years back. Uh, so I'm glad you're still around with us. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I am too. The last thing I would have saw was that, that news logo in your face as I was laying up underneath your car. <laughs> uh, listen, tell me what your thoughts are on Josh Pascal and what he did in that first game and what we're going to see from him this year because I think you're pretty familiar with that, you know, that position and now he's moved over. Josh is a special football player. I saw him getting pressure to the quarterback. He was he, he probably was the most consistent of our of our defensive linemen. Uh, he was in the backfield. He was very disruptive. Uh, he was getting after the quarterback there at times as well. And uh, I like Josh. I like him a lot. He's got so much potential. Uh, I'm just so glad that some of this health thing, these health things are, are behind him. And now he's just able to focus on being a college kid. Uh, and being a football player. And uh, it looks like he had a lot of fun out there. Obviously, you know, you want to see uh, a W, but he plays with just so much drive, Mary Jo. It's really impressive. What did you see out of the secondary in that first game, and what leads you to believe that things can get changed from game one to game two? Right. So I saw, I saw some competition out there. Uh, I saw guys like Kelvin Joseph competing, Brandon Eccles. Um, it, Auburn. They made a big jump, their wide receiver core. I think the staff, everyone knew coming in that they were going to be a really, really good unit, one of probably the top two or three. Uh, but Auburn's going to be knocking on the door this year, trying to show that maybe they have the best wide receiver group uh, in the SEC. Uh, I saw guys compete. There were a few plays, Keith, where I'm sure some of these guys wish they could get it back. Some plays where they were just a little a little slow, a little delayed, a little behind the, emotion, the motions uh, that Auburn did. They can't do that this week with Lane Kiffin because he sees that he is going to try and isolate some of those matchups again this week, uh, particularly with our outside linebackers. And, you know, after getting 51 points hung on them by Florida, <laughs> their defense is certainly going to have a little something to prove. But when you see a score like that, is that more what Florida does um, with their offense versus what Kentucky does with its, its offense if it kind of gets back to the running game first? Yeah, I think that uh, we don't want to see scores up in the 30s and 40s this week, uh, for sure. I think that when you saw the possession battle, we had it about 36 minutes to their 23. I think we'd love to see that again this week. Uh, you you want to keep the ball uh, out of Matt Corral, uh, the sophomore quarterback for Ole Miss. You want to keep the ball out of his hands. He had a really good performance, almost 400 yards, three touchdowns, and he was throwing the ball. And his wide receivers, just like last week against Auburn, his wide receivers, they went up and they made tough catches uh, last week. And we just cannot, we cannot give Lane Kiffin the ability to sit back and schematically chip away. And this kid, Matt Corral, he's real cool, you know, for a quarterback. He's a Cali kid. Uh, he doesn't seem to get rattled at all. Uh, he can make the throws and he can pull it down and run just like Bo Nix. I mean, this is this kid, this young, this young man, Matt Corral, their quarterback. He's a good football player. All right, Jeremy, we got some good football players too. Should be a battle tomorrow. Thank you so much for all your insight. Thank y'all. All right, take care, Jeremy. All right, stick around. We'll have more after this.